Hello, on this section we're going to learn how to create a really simple overlay transition on Flinto. Sometimes you just want uh, something to appear on top of your design like a model and it's really easy to do on Flinto. So I'm going to select these two artworks and I'm going to send them to Flinto uh, to use in the sketch plugin. Send to Flinto, it opens Flinto for me and here I can start adding gestures. So I'm going to, uh, here I'm going to draw a link, I'm going to connect this to the model screen, I'm going to add it as a tab and I'm going to create a new transition. Here in the new transition the first thing that I want to do is move the whole artboard in the middle of the screen. Since our animation is happening inside the screen, inside the, uh, the guides, uh, it's not a different screen that is coming in, it's just the model we have to move the whole artboard in the middle and then start animating the the uh, elements that we want to animate. So the first thing is uh, the overlay. I'm going to change the opacity of this overlay to 0%. That's how it starts. And then here the model, I'm going to also change the opacity of it. And then I can start uh, playing with the pro properties of it. So for example, I can make it move from the bottom. And let's preview it. So when I press options, the model appears from the bottom. And I can get a little bit crazier. I can probably also here uh, change the uh, rotation a bit. So probably it, let's say that it has a, a 3D rotation on the X axis, axis. And it moves a little bit like that. Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit more obvious. Let's put it at minus 60. And it opens like that. Then I'm we, you can also play around with the timing of it. So right now it has, a, by default, this uh, spring animation. I'm going to select a different one and I'm going to make it a little bit bouncy by playing around with the damping. And I'm going to make it, instead of 350, 450, just to, to see the effect, the duration of it. Let's preview it. So I press here on Option and then it bounces. And that's pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to add a gesture, tap, and I'm going to say the target, just the back link. That way it closes the model. Let's preview it. Press outside here and then it closes it. So yeah, we just learned how to create a simple model animation on Flinto. It's really easy and I hope you, it helps you on your prototypes. Thank you.